Hello everyone, uh, the wonderful world of YouTube. Um, so, I have another unboxing video for you guys. I'll be doing more of these. I, I, I think in my first one I said like, oh, I'm not an unboxing channel, and I'm still not. I don't really know what kind of a channel I am, but sometimes they're just unique things I have that I want to make a video on and unbox and save that memory of opening a thing. <laughs> so, um, when the Nintendo Switch came out, one of my first thoughts was, that actually it was pretty cheap for a video game console. Like, not cheap, but like affordable, you know what I mean? Um, especially compared to uh, when the PS4 and Xbox One first came out. I know Nintendo consoles are generally cheaper than Sony and Microsoft, but like Nintendo Switch just seemed particularly like, yeah, this is affordable. But then you know, look at the price of the controllers and you change your mind a little bit. So like, whether you're getting the Joy-Cons or the Pro controller, uh, the official Switch controllers just seem to be very expensive, and that's kind of how they bumped the price up. And fairly enough, like, they are pretty advanced controllers, got a lot of cool features, but they're still pretty expensive, and just kind of discourages you from buying more when, in the, so that people have, like, full control when you can just have the sideways Joy-Cons for each player. Anyway, speaking of that, what if I were to tell you that uh, I just bought a Switch controller, an unofficial third-party controller, of course, but a Switch controller nonetheless, for three dollars. And well, I don't need a wonder because I did that. It's, it's here. It's in here, presumably. Um, so this is the the cheapest controller I've ever bought. Um, even um, this thing right here was more expensive. This was five dollars. And this isn't even really a controller, mind you. This is just a weird plastic shell that you can shove a Wii remote in the back of. I just wanted to use this as an example, like. Whatever controller I'm about to open is cheaper than this. Just put some, some, put some perspective. So, funny story about how I got this controller. So I was, on, I was on Facebook, and you know sometimes you get weird targeted ads on Facebook. They know that I play video games, I have Switch, I do Nintendo stuff. I'm sure they know that a lot of my Google search history, I'm sure, is related to the Switch in some way. I'm pretty sure I like the Nintendo page and the Switch page on Facebook. It's not surprising getting an ad for something like that. But the weird thing was the the uh, ad that I got showed up in my newsfeed, not like a pop-up ad, just like a regular like page ad. It's from a page titled, um, I believe it was December Seventeenth Hot Deals. Like, so I ordered this on December Seventeenth from a page called December Seventeenth Hot Deals. So it wasn't a general like Deal Hunter Facebook page. It was specifically December Seventeenth, two thousand eighteen deals. It's kind of weird. Very strange. Um, only two comments were on this post. Uh, the description of the controller, it had, it had a picture of like the controller in the box, and then the description started to read fairly normal. It read like, a uh, good third-party controller, and uh, the only third-party controller that can that uses uh, full motion controls. I don't think that's true, but like it's not that weird for them to say that to kind of hype themselves up. But the weird thing is after that, the description started to change to like what I can only assume is a totally different product. It sounded like it was some sort of travel pillow. It said something about like inflating it and sleeping on it. So another product description got mashed up into this. And, but they still said that like, get this controller uh, for $3 by entering our coupon code. And of course this all sounds super sketchy. Normally I wouldn't click on any of this. I, I, that's just a bad idea that's that's like identity theft waiting to happen, but they said that the coupon code was through Amazon and like Amazon secure. So whether this like company is like scammy or not, Amazon isn't. I mean Amazon has their own problems, but they're not they're not a scam company generally speaking. Uh, so no one's gonna steal my credit card information because I'm not putting in any information onto this weird December 17th hot deal Facebook page. I'm just putting it into Amazon. So the worst that could happen is I spend three dollars on the product that doesn't turn out to be very good, which this that very well might be the case. And three dollars loss is like whatever. So I went through, I clicked on the thing, they sent me a Facebook message, automated chat message with my coupon code, went into Amazon, put this thing in my cart, and then uh, put the coupon code in where it says like discount codes, and sure enough, Three dollars, and no, not even shipping. But free two-day shipping. So, I have no idea what I'm gonna find in here, um, how good it's gonna be. But even if it's really bad, three dollars, uh, worth it for 
a Switch controller of any type. So let's get started with opening this thing. I've went on long enough with my story. Here's the box. Yeah, this is what I remember seeing on that picture. I did get the controller, not the weird travel pillow that they were talking about. It's from Penguin United. Never heard of that company. It's an ergonomic gamepad. Ergonomic's one of those words that you just throw in to make your thing sound cooler. It's full gyro capability. That's their big claim to fame here. I doubt that it has the HD rumble, but um, it does have motion controls, so find out how good they are, but like, has the motion controls, so that's nice, that lets you play Mario Odyssey and such, as intended. Um, and yes, of course it is for use with the Switch. On the back, on the side here rather, we have, yeah, use the Switch, it's ergonomic design, it's compatible with Switch, there's no dead zone analog sticks in D-pad, so that's supposedly good. I can't, don't know if it's going to stay that way, but it's advertising that. It's a comfortable and stylish design, and again, a uh, full gyro motion. I'd say it's stylish enough. I'll find out in a second if it's comfortable, but it looks fine. Um, on the back, same thing, pretty much. It features next-gen attributes, design and attributes. The controls compatible with the Switch. So we plug into the Switch and ready to play. All right, well, so let's get this thing open now. Kill the tape circle off here. Kind of ripped the box. Oh well, I'm not gonna, planning on not planning on returning this anyway. Um. And here we go. Here is the controller and a little instruction manual, I guess. Okay, now I'll find out more of this mysterious company, Penguin United's a video game accessory manufacturer. Produces unique and cutting edge products for the gaming community. They're thanking me for buying this. Um, yep. Instructions. The goods. Okay. Uh, it's compatible with the Switch. It's a fun, comfortable, ergonomic controller. It's one of the... It's also... Now they say one of the only third-party controllers to use gyro functions. They're not lying anymore. I know there are other third-party controllers that do it. Um, set up. Turn the Switch on. Plug it in to the USB port so it's not wireless. That's a little unfortunate. Uh, sync the controller by pressing the desired button, enter system settings, uh, make sure the, yeah, I've already done that with the Pro Controller, make sure the wired is on, and change the play order, similar as, um, before. Uh, you can calibrate the joysticks, as usual, and, oh, it is compatible with PC or Mac, they didn't say that before, they, on the box, they're like, this is compatible with Switch, but it's also compatible with PC. Cool, that's, that's good to know, I mean, usually on PC I just use my PS4 controller, but... Um, maybe I'll, if this turns out to be good, that gives me another option, so that's nice. The customer service and social media, which is how I found out about this thing. Uh, they have an Instagram and Facebook. Well, cool. Penguin United, they sound like a legit company, even though I've never heard of them. So here we go. So holding this in my hands right now, it, it feels better than I was expecting. Like, it's no, it doesn't feel, like, great, but there's a little more weight to it than I thought there would be. Um, it... It still feels like it's plasticky and kind of simple, but there is some weight to it. It feels decent overall. Um, let's see, so two shoulder buttons here. Well, the ZL, ZR, they feel not wonderful, but they feel like normal buttons. Um, not as good as something like the GameCube controller or the PS4 controllers, um, but they do feel they do have a good push to them. They're simple enough. Uh, the Regular L and R's. I don't really like how those feel. Just gonna say that right now. You don't use those a ton in games for the Switch so far, but hmm. yeah, I don't, I don't like those. Those feel kind of. I don't even know how to describe it. They just don't feel right. Specifically, the R button. The R button feels worse than the L button. The L button kind of clicks fairly normally, but the R button just doesn't have the right click to it. It feels like there's almost like a crumb stuck underneath it, which. Can't be the case, because I just got this, but... So, yeah, uh, already docking a few points there. The home button, it's normal. Feels right. Uh, the sticks... These are the sticks are pretty good. They click 
the clicking is a little too loud for my taste, but um, the click, it, it feels right. The sticks feel surprisingly very good. All right. Uh, the D-pad, okay, this doesn't feel great either. Um, not as bad as the uh, the R button, but the C-pad feels kind of lumpy almost. Not the worst thing, but not far from the best thing is also I'll have to say. Um, yeah, could be better, could be worse. Not a ton of complaining to do there, but eh, not loving it. So now for their actual regular core buttons. And those feel pretty much just what you expect. They're normal. They're just, they, they do their job, they click their buttons. Nothing special there, but nothing terrible there either. Uh, so our plus and minus button, our screenshot button. Similar thing, they just feel like normal buttons. So overall review of the, the feel of the controller, better than I expected, worse than I hoped. So most of the buttons you're using most of the time, along with the sticks, feel fine. The D-pads kind of crappy, and the R button is really crappy, and the L button's also kind of crappy. But for $3, not bad at all. Um, so now let's see how this actually works on Switch, if it actually was going to work, but the biggest fear here. Um, this didn't come with the uh, plug, so the adapter, so that's kind of unfortunate. That's not great, because it is USB-C, which... Is that a USB-C or a micro-USB? I can't tell, because usually Switch stuff is C, and C is harder to find than micro. Um, hold on one second. I'm going to go see if I if a USB-C is going to fit into this. So yeah, got uh, micro-USB and USB-C on hand right now. Let's see which one fits. Uh, here's my micro. Oh, it is a micro-USB. Interesting. Everything else on the Switch is C. This is a micro USB. That, that's all right. I mean, again, they should have just come with one, but the fact that um, you can use most people have a micro USB something lying somewhere around, that's all right. Uh, not, not a huge loss. So yeah, let's see this thing in action now. Okay, so we've got everything all set. Um, just tested this a second ago, and it does recognize it right away. You don't have to go into any settings on the Switch, except for um, enabling USB wired controllers, which is simple to do. I'm sure you can find other information on how to do that elsewhere if you're wondering how to do that. Um, but it turned on right away. Um, show you. So I'm going to plug this back in. And give it a second. Give it a second. Don't tell me it's not going to work now. Oh, come on. It was working perfect just a second ago. Try it again. There we go. Okay. Don't know what happened just there, but yeah, so it, look at as you can see on the TV, we have, it does recognize it as a pro controller um, and uh, lit up there kind of weird placement of the light it's like not in the center but it does work so let's just see some games in action to see how good this thing actually is now I'm not gonna be playing perfectly because I'm kind of sitting in an odd position right now so that the camera can still capture it but okay home button works um, I know people are probably wondering like oh is it good for smash but I unfortunately don't have smash yet so I can't really Tell you that I'm getting it soon, but I just don't have it yet. So let's just see Mario Odyssey. That worked. Um, and for it to load. Yeah, try playing with the attached Joy Cons. I have, but I'm using this for now. Alright. Forgot how long this title screen, loading screen was. There we go. Let's turn the volume up a little bit on that. Alright. Oh, I haven't played it since that update, apparently. Uh, or that one. Yeah, I haven't played it in a while. 
I really haven't played this in a while. Wow, I have lots of updates. Oh, come on, how many more of these are there? <laughs> oh boy. So, yes, I, the new outfit's good. Yes, I'm happy. Oh, yeah, that's great. Real great, I know. Okay, uh, resume. Yeah, maybe that's a little too loud. I'll try to blame that again. Okay, so um, I'm on the moon right now in my Mario Knight outfit. Uh, seems to be jumping, seems normal. Yeah. And let's test out that f f their celebrated gyro feature. So that it does work. Um, see if I can successfully do the uh, this this hat spin with this. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it works pretty well. Um, all the buttons work. Again, uh, just I still don't like the way the R button feels, but it does work like it's supposed to. Crouching works. All the buttons work. Um, this is. Pretty comfortable to use and it's working just fine. Um, yeah, no complaints here. Um, Mario Odyssey works. Controller works just like it's supposed to. Um, yeah, let's try something else before I end this video. Let's see. Let's go to. Let's do some Splatoon. Because Splatoon, since it's a game that relies. Heavily on motion controls, if you so choose to use motion controls, which you should. Um, see how it works with that. Because the dryer, it's easy to see that it works when you're just like flicking it for the hat, but more precise movements might be might be harder. And let's see. Again, Splatoon's another one with a pretty long loading screen. Um, Yeah. Let's see what Pearl and Marina have to say. Yeah, don't care. Again, I got, of course I missed an, up, an update on this game too, so I may have to set through this again also. Well, at least they're quick about it here. Yeah. Okay, rank battles. Yep. Yep. Come on. All right. Okay. So, um, getting into Inkopolis now. Okay. Oh uh, yeah. Motion controls do work here. Um, as for the sticks, the sticks. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I use motion controls, not everyone does. Um, Splatoon, they, they do, they seem to be working pretty well right now. Um, I'll go into a, um, so I'll go into the practice range. Okay, so here we are in the practice range, so we can get some better, better judgment of how it works in a more practical setting. Um, and, uh, first impression, um, up and down gyro works very well. But the left and right is not the best. Uh, not terrible, but it's just in a game like Splatoon where you're using this constantly, it doesn't give you enough motion, it feels like. It's kind of slow to that. So yeah, I feel like for Splatoon, stick with the detached Joy-Cons, uh, more the official Pro Controller, um, but it does work. Um, yeah, and the triggers feel fine because I'm using you're using the the regular triggers and not that not the crappy um, R R1 um, trigger, but it does work pretty well. So I think that's enough of a test for this, this controller. All right, so final verdict on our Penguin United Switch controller that I got for three dollars. It's good. It's it's a lot better than I was expecting. Um, not anything amazing, probably still nowhere near as good as the official controllers, but for a cheaper option, this is about as cheap as you can get, 
And the fact that it works at all is impressive, and the fact that it works as well as it does is impressive. So major flaws, um, talk about a lot already. R button feels awful. I don't know if that's just mine or if they all feel like that. R button is just crap. It's not good. Um, it works, but it just feels so weird. It just, it just feels gross touching it. Uh, so I, you, sorry that I'm not describing it perfectly, but just not a fan. Um, other major drawback is it's wired only, so you cannot be playing this in undocked mode, which is unfortunate because that's kind of the main way I use my Switch. Um, this is a big TV sometimes, but the portability of the Switch is really one of the biggest draws to the Switch compared to other consoles, so the fact that you can't use this undocked is kind of unfortunate. Not the biggest deal for those of you who mainly play on the TV, and other like more official controllers also are plug-in only, so it's not unheard of. Um, so, other than that, really no complaints. Um, yeah, it it's, does its job. Sticks feel great. Um, regular buttons feel good enough. Um, and it's got a good design. It's com The grip is comfortable. Uh, everything is good in working order. I don't know how long this controller is going to last. I know that third-party controllers start to just, like, deteriorate over time, or it's the like whether plugging it in doesn't work after a certain amount of time or well that reminds me another flaw to this is that it doesn't come with the thing you, the micro usb to plug it in not a huge deal because you probably already have one around the house but still kind of unprofessional to not include one with it um other than that though uh yeah so as i was saying uh third-party controllers across all systems all the time will deteriorate over time generally they're they're more likely to just die over time buttons are more likely to start feeling not good, so eventually I wouldn't be surprised if all the buttons start to feel like this R button, uh, and a lot of time the, 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 the hookups just stop working. I don't know if that's going to happen with this, I have no way of knowing, but the fact of the matter is, for how cheap this was, I don't really care if that happens, because even if I get like, a, yeah, I like, let's say, I was going to say a year, but even if I get just like five months of use out of this before it goes, that's a, that's a good deal for three dollars. So I gotta say I do re I recommend this. I honestly recommend this. I uh, wasn't expecting it. Weird impulse purchase. I was expecting to open up some total monstrosity that I had no idea if it was gonna be good or not. But it's good. It's it's pretty good. Um, and I don't know if you'll be able to get it for three dollars unless you find that same Facebook post. But I believe the original price is still fairly cheap. I'm get I'm, I'm thinking it was fifteen dollars at the most. So if you can't get it for the three dollars. $15 is still cheaper than just about every other option out there, and still worth it. I'd still recommend this if you want a cheaper option for a wired Pro Controller. You really can't go wrong with this, and especially if it works on PC too. I didn't test that, but I'd imagine similar results there. Um, so yeah, the Penguin United Switch Controller. Check it out. Get one if you want. Have a good day, everyone, and hope you have a wonderful holiday season. Thank you, and goodbye. Okay, so immediately after filming that last segment, I feel like such an idiot, I turned around to the side and found that it did come with <laughs> the adapter. So, sorry, Penguin United, for saying you were unprofessional by not including one. You totally did include one. I was just too stupid to find it. It was tucked away in the back of this holding cart. Kind of a weird place for it, to be honest, but still, it is there, and it is very long, so that's good. So it, it's, I get, so that's less of a problem now, and the fact that it's wired is even less of a problem as well because this is so long. So it's a little addendum there. This does earn it some more points. Still recommend, recommend even more so now that this is included. Anyway, thanks again, guys. Bye.